Welcome to the Word Bible Software. Today we're going to be looking at a Greek reading plan. That This will go along with our study of, through Englishman's Greek. So go ahead and open up the Word Bible Software. And in here, in the Word Bible Software, you see our, our windows that we've been having open. We have our Greek Bible up here. We have our Englishman's Greek book down here. And we have a dictionary. Up here in the top, go to file let me move my this one window down just a little bit so you can kind of see a little better go to file new bible reading plan and that should pop open okay so in here you're going to create a customized reading plan by yourself we're not going to use the two a predefined because we want something that is just set up just for what we are doing and it goes ahead and says enter the required passages to the area below so what we want to do is choose the Bible version we're going to use we're going through the Berean study Bible Greek and interlinear we're using that one we are going to type in our passages I just want us to start in 1st John and go through 3rd John so that'll take us and and that's what we're just going to do for this this mini reading plan you can when you get further along in Greek and things you can go ahead and, and create a new one and go through this so you this would be a simple lesson you could reuse from time to time go to next now since I'm usually busy on Sunday and Monday with other things such as family day on Monday and Sunday use is usually full ministry day Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday are my study days my work days and things like that I would like this one to be a two-month reading plan so I have it Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and two months now I'm gonna go to next I oh I plan to finish it in two months go to next and I would like to preview my plan here. And I'll also, we got about four verses there, five, six, seven, eight, another four verses. So it looks like we're going through about four verses a day. And that's a good start. You can go ahead and increase that. It's better to start off small and increase later. We're going to call this one um, the abbreviation. We're going to go 1st John, well, Greek, 1st John. Well, let's go first through third John just like that we're gonna do uh, reading through the Greek of first through third John and go ahead and create my reading plan now it tells me down here it, it created it in in this window down here so a couple things as you look at that we're gonna of course this window will use for are uh, Englishmen so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is I want to keep this as part of my book here my book layout so what I'm going to go do is go into my book layout really quick go define module set I, this is quite a big window you you don't quite see it all there but um, we'll bring it down here make it a little bigger so you can get a look at it I'm going to type space zero space because I have a lot of books to look through and this gives it me a quicker view of that we got reading plans and I go up in here I'm going to move it into here and then let me look at my book view my books real quick or my book sets rather and maps charts theology pastor apologetics notes MS, oh, devotions you could put a new one in I'm going to add it actually under yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add a new folder reading and I'm gonna just shift it down here to after devotions right kinda of at the end of the list and I'm gonna throw this one in there so that's just part of my reading now and I got that and hit OK so now over here I have it under reading and I'm gonna go ahead and update this area to reading so there's a couple things we're going to have in this little window. We might use it for dictionary later on, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and save this setup. Under Greek reading. Okay. Now, if you would you were to go, whoops. 
go back to reading okay now you can do the calendar view or the list view and and we're going to probably let's see we today's april 1st we want to read first john 1 1 through 4 we told it what bible so it will jump us to there and it'll have at um it'll tell us where our reading is going to start at which is very helpful and then this says tells us where our, our reading is going to stop at and then we hit done when we're done so let's go ahead for today and go ahead and read through this remember last time we w went through how to read greek now you can go back to that lesson in fact if it's helpful for you you can go to how to read greek and you can pull up uh, some items there's the alphabet here there's the diphthongs you know kind of quick review is i a oi ow U, U, Ween, We. Okay, very good. Okay, and then there's another. These ones are we recognize some a little bit more of a challenging word. O or ps or k, and that was a k sound. The f or upsilon. Omicron was ah. Al father ah. Eta epsilon rather and zeta was uh, dz, dz. okay now we kind of did, did our quick review let's go in here and start reading if you need to remember we're using that greek uh that berean so you can hover over it and you can see a little bit about we have heard but right now today you're just going to go ahead and focus on reading and then you as you want you can come back and go ahead and study deeper so let's go ahead and re read through first john one through four Ho he, ho hein, ein ap arkes, ho ak, akeko amen, ha, eu rakamen, tois, aftalmois, e he moon, remember that rough breathing, ha, es das, efe asameth, ooh, that's a hard one, efe, Asametha. Kai I. I'm just turning off a couple things there so we don't have that pop up all the time. Well, it's big. Eh, there it is. Anyway, okay. Atheasametha. Kai I. Hi. Keres. Humon. Epse la fe san. Peri. Tu lagu des zoes kai he zoe efane rothe fe kai e he rakamen kai martu urumen kai apage oh remember the double g the double gamma is apang elomen humin ten zoen ten Ionion hetis en pros tan pateron patera kai efenero ten te hemen ho ero rakamen kai ake kaomen apangelomen. Oops, let's go down to the next verse. Apangelomen kai humin hin. Hina kai hu mes koinonian. Oh, you recognize that one from our vocabulary that we had earlier. Ekete meth he mon kai he koinonia de e he metera metatu patras kai metatu huyan. Oh, here we have we have a couple capital letters. You know, that's a pi right here. And then this one is the upsilon. If you would look at right here, it looks like this. So upsilon. Who you are to Jesus Christu. And you remember those in the name of Jesus and the name of Christ. Kai tauta grafomen graf amen. Remember that's the graf amen. He mes hena he kara he mon e. Pepele Romen. Ne. 
Pepole Romene. So we kind of got to the end of our reading, just kind of reading through. As we continue to go, we'll kind of come back. At, it will basically we'll go further in depth, perhaps, as we go through our reading. If you want to do a quick overview of this, I'm going to just turn on the inner linear, and you can go ahead and see in here that which was from the beginning, that which we have heard, that which we have seen. So you see the men and we. So we'll start to get gather a few things with the eye, the eyes of us. So our eyes, that which we have gazed upon. So here's Kai and the hands of us have handled concerning the word of life. So that was the capital Lambda word of life and the life was made manifest and we have seen and bear witness and we proclaim to you the life eternal which was with the father so patre patera and we saw that earlier and kai was revealed to us that which we have seen and we have heard we proclaim also to you so that also you fellowship may have with us indeed the fellowship now of us is with the father and with the son of him so huyan who you is son or you'll get into so there's different variations of that connected um Jesus Christ and these things write we so that the joy of us may might be or may be complete. So we're done. We can hit done. We can hit. Um, I'll put this back out of interlinear view. And so that's there we're good. We're good for today. Uh, we got our reading caught up. And so on another day, you, you know, can you continue on with reading? Whenever I record this video, I'll, I'll try to have my reading up to that point. And so you be ready to read through that. So tomorrow is Friday. Go ahead and take some time or whatever time when you're watching when this video, go to the next day and continue on in the passages reading day by day. So that is all for this particular video of Greek reading. Keep this list available and start reading. First through third John should be an excellent um, introductory books. Uh, John has amazing way to use succinct words or smaller words to share profound thoughts. So let's go ahead and close for today. Thank you for joining. God bless and hope this helps you in your study of God's word.